Officer Joe Cooper received a call one chilly night in Chicago, reporting strange noises coming from an abandoned flatlet. Little did he anticipate that this call would lead to a life-changing moment, resulting in him adopting three young girls. The heartwarming story of how these girls impacted his life unfolded over 27 years, leaving everyone who heard it in tears. Joe Cooper, a dedicated police officer, was patrolling a quiet neighborhood when he received the call from a concerned elderly lady. She had complained about unusual noises from the vacant flat next to hers and requested the police to investigate. Joe willingly responded and arrived at the scene. With some effort, he managed to open the door, only to be met with a sight no adult would wish to witness. Before him stood three young girls, huddled together, visibly frightened by his presence. The eldest appeared to be around ten years old, the second approximately six, and the youngest no older than three. It was evident that they had endured a difficult life. Their appearance was distressing. They seemed malnourished. Their clothing was tattered. And their faces were dirty. These children had been abandoned. The sight of these vulnerable girls deeply affected Joe. They reminded him of his own daughter, whom he had tragically lost in a car accident just two years prior. The fact that someone could abandon these innocent children was beyond his comprehension. Joe's immediate instinct was to protect them, to provide them with care, warmth, and safety. Earning the trust of the girls was a gradual process. But once they began to feel comfortable around him, Joe drove them back to the police precinct in the warmth of his car. At the precinct, he offered them hot chocolate and engaged in conversations. It soon became clear that they were indeed the daughters of drug dealers who had decided they no longer wanted to care for them. While the girls slept, their parents had simply disappeared, leaving them entirely on their own. They had been struggling to survive, homeless and unloved. Joe was deeply moved by their plight. He couldn't shake the image of their innocent faces when he first found them. He believed they deserved a better life than the one they had endured. This profound sentiment led him to make an extraordinary decision that no one on his police force could comprehend. It was a drastic and awe-inspiring choice. Joe decided to formally adopt the girls, giving them a new chance at life. The girls were Mia, Leigh, and Amy. Amy, the youngest was particularly thrilled at the prospect of being adopted. She was eager to have a loving dad and a bed to call her own. Mia, the oldest of the three girls, was highly skeptical when Joe decided to adopt them. She couldn't fathom why a grown man would want to take on the responsibility of caring for three traumatized girls so suddenly. Life had been unkind to her, robbing her of the innocence that should have defined her childhood. She had learned harsh lessons and endured hardships that no child her age should ever experience. However, as Mia listened to Joe's story about the tragic loss of his own beloved daughters in a devastating accident, she began to comprehend the depth of his grief and the empathy that motivated his decision. Joe had been mourning the loss of his daughters and couldn't bring himself to clear out their rooms. This situation worked out well providing the newly adopted girls with their own rooms and personal space. The two youngest girls shared a room, sharing toys and twin beds. Naturally, Joe was anxious about welcoming the girls into his life. For nearly two years, he had been living alone, as his wife had left him following the loss of their daughters. During this time, he had mourned in solitude, Despite the initial apprehension, the girls gradually adjusted to their new home. Whenever Joe wasn't working, he made it a point to engage them in various outdoor activities, such as rollerblading, playing in the park, or visiting the public library. With time, the unique personalities of each girl began to emerge. Mia, in particular, 
began to trust Joe and shared her passion for painting with him. It was during these painting sessions that Joe witnessed a lighter, more carefree side of Mia. Her art allowed her to let go of the weight of abandonment and immerse herself in moments of joy. However, while painting, Mia inadvertently mentioned her birth parents to Joe, quickly halting herself as she realized the pain it stirred within her and the family. It was after this episode that Joe realized that the girls needed professional therapy to help them heal from their traumatic past. Recognizing that he didn't possess the necessary skills to provide them with the help they needed, he enrolled them in a therapy program. After a month of therapy, the revelations from the therapist were nothing short of startling. The girls had been subjected to inhumane treatment, often being given the remnants of their parents' meals or scraps of whatever food was left. There were instances when they went without proper meals for days. Their education had been severely neglected, with irregular school attendance. These shocking discoveries painted a painful picture of the girls' early life experiences. When their parents allowed them to leave, the girls were severely beaten if they protested. The youngest of the three had yet to fully grasp the extent of her early life experiences. However, the two older girls, Mia and Letty, were wise enough to understand that the treatment they endured was far from right. Despite their hardships, they had once loved their parents deeply. As young children often do, they had been seeking love and affection in their own home. Joe Cooper, the compassionate officer who found them, was immensely grateful that he had discovered the girls when he did. He made a promise to them and to himself that he would do everything in his power to ensure that this sweet trio received the best in life. Over time, the little family began to heal from their own traumas and construct new lives for themselves. The girls grew more comfortable with their new father and their home, excelling in school and even bringing friends over. Step by step, they were moving closer to leading more normal lives. Joe was thrilled that he could provide them with a loving home and the opportunity to experience a somewhat typical childhood. Every night before bed, he prayed that his girls would assimilate into the world and achieve whatever they set their hearts to. His prayers would eventually pay off. As his daughters went on to achieve remarkable success, Mia pursued a career as a therapist. With the intention of helping children facing challenges like she once did, Letty became a passionate journalist, specializing in crime reporting and forensics. Amy, the youngest, worked toward her Ph. D. in music. Fast forward 27 years. Joe was bursting with pride for his accomplished daughters. Little did he know that they had a heartwarming surprise in store for him. During Amy's graduation, where she received her doctorate in musical therapy and brain science. She was asked to deliver a speech. As Joe sat in the audience, he eagerly awaited her words. However, to his surprise and immense pride, Amy was joined by her two older sisters on the podium. She proceeded to share their family's inspiring story, emphasizing Joe's extraordinary dedication and love. In front of a crowd of hundreds, Amy conveyed that her achievements would have been impossible without Joe's unwavering support and affection. Overwhelmed by emotions, Joe saw his little girl, once a three-year-old, now standing beside her big sisters, praising him for the incredible role he played in their lives. At that very moment, Joe's heart swelled with pride and gratitude. All the hardships and sacrifices he endured as a single father melted away. His daughters were his world. And they knew it. Their speech illustrated that. Without Joe, their lives would have taken a drastically different path. This heartwarming tale demonstrates that love and compassion can truly make a profound difference. Hank and Janet had been eagerly anticipating the arrival of their first child. Hank was filled with joy as he prepared to celebrate their new family addition. He rushed to the hospital room, 
ready to welcome their baby into the world. However, as he stepped into the room, a strange and unsettling sight awaited him. The doctors and nurses, who had been surrounding the bed, wore expressions of bewilderment. In Janet's arms was their newborn baby. But Hank was taken aback by the baby's appearance. The infant had dark skin, black hair, and a countenance that Hank found, for lack of a better word, ugly, frozen in disbelief. Hank's mind raced. His fair skin and gray eyes marked him unmistakably as a white man. And Janet, his blonde-haired wife, was also white. Neither of them had any known relatives of African descent. How could their baby be black? Hank was speechless. His world turned upside down in an instant. The doctor approached Hank, placing a comforting hand on his shoulder. He admitted that the situation was confounding, and the news was a lot to digest. At least, he assured Hank, the baby was perfectly healthy, still numb and unable to speak. Hank glanced at Janet, who held the baby close, her tearful eyes reflecting her own confusion. With the truth eluding both of them, Hank turned and stormed out of the hospital without saying a word leaving Janet and the unfamiliar baby behind. Janet was paralyzed with shock, her gaze following Hank as he fled. She was just as baffled as her husband had been, and her heart ached at the thought that the man she loved had walked away from her and their newborn child. As Hank's retreating figure disappeared from sight, Janet was left alone to grapple with the inexplicable situation. Her baby was black and she was certain that she had never been unfaithful to Hank during their one-year marriage or their two years of dating. They had met in college, drawn to each other by Hank's reputation as the smartest guy on campus. He was known for solving complex and nearly impossible math calculations. Their love had flourished. But now the sudden appearance of their first baby threatened to shatter their happiness. The nurse regarded the new mother with suspicion. Janet felt the weight of their judgments but had no answers to offer. She didn't understand what had transpired any more than they did. The only source of support came from the compassionate doctor, who advised her to request a DNA test from Hank. It was the only way to unravel the mystery surrounding the inexplicable situation. Desperate to reach Hank, Janet tried to contact him from the hospital but found her efforts futile. Upon returning home with the baby, she was met with another shocking sight. Hank had packed his bags and left, abandoning the life they had built together. He showed no concern for her well-being or curiosity about their child's origin or gender. Janet was left devastated, without a clue as to what to do next. Yet, as she gazed down at her daughter, her heartache was tempered by a deep sense of motherly love and responsibility. The baby girl smiled. Her innocent grin melting Janet's heart. No matter how confusing or inexplicable the situation had been. This was her daughter. And Janet was determined to love her with all her heart. She named her daughter Tiana and embarked on the challenging journey of single motherhood. Raising Tiana alone presented its difficulties and Janet faced many obstacles along the way. Strikingly, Tiana grew into a beautiful young girl, a stark contrast to her unusual and somewhat perplexing appearance as an infant. Not only was she stunningly beautiful, but she also possessed an extraordinary intellect that astounded everyone she encountered with her sharp thinking. Tiana's genius was evident from an early age, and by the time she was 10, she was already solving college-level mathematical problems. She began to garner various awards and achievements, filling Janet with pride. While Janet worked tirelessly to provide Tiana with the best life possible, she knew there was one thing she couldn't give her daughter. A father. Hank. Tiana's biological father. Had distanced himself and lived far from their lives. 
Hank had become a mathematics lecturer at a prestigious university and never remarried. He was consumed by feelings of betrayal. And he began to view all women through a jaded lens. His life was marked by brief flings. Leading women on. And abrupt breakups. In the back of his mind. He occasionally wondered about the family he had left behind. But he couldn't help but harbor resentful thoughts. One fateful morning. Hank's world was shaken to its core when he saw something that nearly stopped his heart. While scrolling through his social media feed. He stumbled upon a post from the university. It announced the winner of an international math competition. A beautiful black girl. Approximately 11 years old beaming with pride as she held her trophy. However, the true shocker lay not in the talented girl but in the woman standing beside her. None other than Janet. The wife he had abandoned over a decade ago. Hank couldn't ignore the striking resemblance between the little black girl and himself. Zooming in on her picture, he noticed a tiny birthmark on the left side of her nose. It was a minuscule detail. One that most people would overlook. But Hank recognized it because he had the exact same birthmark on the left side of his nose. This revelation left Hank in a state of profound shock. How could this girl share his features? Was it possible that he had been wrong all these years? After all, two white parents could not have a black child. Hank's fellow lecturers began to notice his confusion and his unusual demeanor that day concerned for his well-being. They approached him and inquired about what was troubling him. Eventually, Hank shared the story and his newfound discovery, leading his colleagues to suggest that he take a DNA test to finally unveil the truth. With hesitation but driven by an overwhelming curiosity, Hank mustered the courage to contact Janet and propose a DNA test. Janet had been celebrating her daughter's international award and received a flood of congratulations. However, when her phone rang late at night, she decided to ignore it. Too exhausted to take another call. As she woke up the next day, she discovered 10 missed calls from an unfamiliar number. This was highly unusual. She dialed the number. And when the person on the other end spoke, her heart skipped a beat. She immediately recognized the voice. It was Hank on the other end of the line. Janet wanted nothing to do with him after 11 years of silence. He was suddenly calling her out of the blue. Hank's voice, however, sounded genuinely desperate. He apologized for not seeking the truth earlier and expressed his desire to do so now. What he wanted was her permission to conduct a DNA test with Tiana. Janet was taken aback. And the pain of reopening old wounds was too much for her to bear. Nevertheless, one thing was clear, the mystery of her child's paternity had always disturbed her. She had carried the burden of telling Tiana that their father had left and wasn't coming back for too long. Perhaps it was time for closure. So. Janet made the difficult decision to call Hank and agree to the test. The DNA test results revealed the impossible. Hank was indeed the father of Tiana. He felt a wave of horror wash over him. He had abandoned his own daughter for 11 long years. But how could it even be possible? Hank knew that the answers lay within himself because he knew Janet's parents. But he didn't know his own biological parents as he had been adopted. Hank felt a deep urge to uncover the secrets of his past. He needed to understand why Tiana had been born with dark skin while he, with his light skin and gray eyes, appeared quite different. Hank began his investigation with his adoptive parents and then tracked down the orphanage home where he was adopted. In the old records and files, he discovered the answer to everything. Hank's biological mother whom he had never met, was biracial, half black and half white. This meant that Hank, while mostly white in appearance, had inherited 25% black genes from her. Even though his light skin and gray eyes concealed this heritage, 
Tiana had inherited the recessive black genes from him. After more research, he learned of a rare condition called interracial hyperpigmentation, which can cause a baby to be born with darker skin than their parents. It is caused by a genetic mutation that is passed down from both parents. Hank realized that he must have inherited the gene for interracial hyperpigmentation from his biological mother and passed it on to Tiana. This discovery was like finding a missing piece of the puzzle. It explained why Tiana had inherited her beautiful dark skin from her grandmother through him. It was a part of his genetic code that had been hidden, waiting to reveal itself in his daughter. Overwhelmed with guilt and shame, Hank realized that he had made a grave mistake in the past. It was a mistake that had cost him eleven precious years with his daughter. He was deeply sorry. But he knew that apologies could never undo the damage he had done to his family. Janet. Who had suffered heartbreak and the trials of single motherhood. Wanted nothing more to do with him. But Hank was not one to give up so easily. He was determined to make things right. Vowing to be the best father he could possibly be to his brilliant daughter. Despite the lost years. He was committed to making up for his actions. So. He kept pleading with Janet to let him into their daughter's life. He started sending checks every month to help cover the cost of living. Although Janet initially didn't cash the checks. She later opened a bank account for her daughter and deposited them. Hank then started sending regular gifts like clothes, books, and other items. Little by little, he proved how serious he was to Janet and how deeply he wanted to be a part of their daughter's life. His consistent efforts eventually paid off, and Janet agreed to let him meet their daughter. 